in this video i'm going to talk about image resizer now image resizer is one of the utility within the power toys tool so what image resizer does is image resizer allows resizing of image okay uh, imagine uh, that you have uh, say one image which is of very high resolution say 5000 by 6000 okay now if you want to use that same image uh, for some of the icons or maybe some of the profile picture then many applications will not allow you to use that high resolution image maybe you want to reduce the size of that image as well now image resizer is a tool for that it allows you to reduce the size of the image by changing the size of the resolution okay now it can configure different image presets okay so there are predefined presets within the application but then you can also create your own presets okay it can set the quality level of the image so you can control the quality level of image how good or how bad the quality you expect from the size reduction you can set the target image file name dynamically uh, and uh, there are various supported encoders like p and g BMP, JPEG, TIFF, WM Photo, GIF. Okay. Now let me show you in action. If you navigate to Power Toys tool, you will see an application called as Image Resizer. Image Resizer lets you resize images by right clicking. Now, as you see here, I need to first turn this on if it is not enabled. And watch this icon. Okay. Enable Image Resizer. I have already opened this application over here. This is how it will look like. So let me close this first. Okay. Now, different presets available. First is the small, medium, large, and phone. Okay. So if you want to have a large image, 1920 by 1080, if you have want to have medium size image, you can use this preset. Or maybe if you do not like the size of it, you can go ahead, edit it, and then make a change. So you can make this 853 okay for example and then yes make other corrections like if you want it to be fit fill or stretch okay so i'm just revert back to my changes and uh, and you can also configure the pixels okay so here if you see in the drop down there is pixels percent inches and centimeters so you can even configure that now, if you don't want to tamper with the existing image preset size, you can add your own new size as well. So let me name this as say, uh, say Gerish size, okay? And then I will make the width as 700 by some some weird uh, width, okay? 700 by 400 and that's my preset. Okay? And you can define your own preset, okay? Uh, and then there are other settings like fallback encoder, JPEG quality level, how good you want the quality to be or how bad, you know, those configuration you can do. For PNG, there is an interlacing option. For TIFF, there is a compression option. Okay, so those all things you can use. And then you can also decide what should be the target file name. Okay, this is using some regex, regular expression. And here uh, you can uh, also see the file modified times timestamp so you want the timestamp of resize action or you just want the original file timestamp for the file which gets generated okay so let me show you in action how this thing work okay now i'm in one of the folder okay and here i have one file okay so let's me open this image file now this is a pretty high res image okay now, if I uh, want to see the size of this image, you will see that the size is 3096 by 4128. Now, think about it like if I am uh, 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 editing my Facebook profile or a Google profile and I want to keep this as a display picture. Now, Google or Facebook may not allow this high res size, okay? And plus, the size of the file is also uh, too large, okay? Then, what I can do is like I can make use of this tool to reduce the size. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, let me close this image. Now, what you need to do is first you just come here and just do a right click in Windows 10 or uh, shift and right click in Windows 11. So 
uh, you can also do a right click in windows 11 so if i do a right click then you get an option uh, to show more options and if i click show more options i will get this menu or alternatively you select this and hold the shift key and then you can come to this menu now over here i can see resize picture okay so if i click on resize pictures I will be able to see that same interface which I was seeing, you know, like the sizes and all. Now, uh, if I have, so if you see here, I have created my own size, okay. But let me use say medium size, okay. So if I click on medium size over here, uh, there are other options which says make picture smaller but not larger, ignore the orientation, resize the original pictures, remove metadata that doesn't affect rendering. So all this thing you can do. Let me first just simply do a resize, okay. Now, if I do a resize, you might see that another image is created. Now, see the size of the original image. It was 4 max. Now, here, the size is 282 KB. So, it has done the job. You know, what it has done, it has reduced the image size, okay, so that I can use it in my, uh, any other application which has a requirement of uh, uh, the less image size and the uh, uh, image uh, orientation. So, if, if I open this particular uh, image and see this is that same image you know? but then again the difference is it is of low resolution okay so if i click on the file info you will be able to see the size is 768 by 1024 and now if you see the file name the file name is uh, showing me the the, the day the file name of this uh, file and then in the bracket I have this medium because I have taken the medium size. Now let me do again conversion. Like let me do uh, my own size. You know, I have defined my Girish size. So if I select Girish size and resize it, it will generate one more image of Girish size. And then this will have some sort of this image. Okay. Uh, so again, if I see the size, it has taken 400 by 533, which was my own defined size. Now that's it folks, this is all about uh, uh, image resizer. You can resize the image with whatever size you want. And there are a lot of other settings which you can have a look into it. Now this particular uh, uh, settings are related to PNG uh, uh, encoder, BMP encoder, JPEG encoder. You can set the JPEG quality level and you know, uh, you can do a whole bunch of things with diff compression as well. So go ahead and please explore this application. Thanks for watching.